I'd like to welcome you all here today to this special occasion here for Alex, also for the Marvel's Boy Scout Troop 68. Um, Troop 68 has a pretty wide range of boys that make me go. See, there's what, 20? Alex will be 22. Alex will be 22. So it's time to welcome you all here, friends and family. I'd like to call up on Troop 68 to see control here. Fan the bus.
It's so important as you grow up and become a citizen of this great country of ours. And you know, I mentioned a lot of temptations facing our youth today. Uh, it looks like next week uh, in the legislature we may be uh, passing a law to make medical marijuana legal in Minnesota. And we've heard a lot of compelling stories about uh, the good things that it does, but there is a concern that uh, it's just the, the, the foot of the door of uh, complete legalization of, of that uh, substance. So again, there's a lot of temptations out there for you, and that's why studying is so important. That the teachers are our young people, uh, the true meaning of, of, of your word, of faith in God, things like that. Sometimes in our society, uh, we're told that uh, we, can't, we can't do that, we can't say it. But the scouting is so uh, important, it expresses those things, and because of that, uh, it, it, it does such a good job with our young people. So, Alex, would you please come forward? I have a resolution of the minutes of the House of Representatives. I won't read the entire thing. It says that he's demonstrated the mastery of all the scouting skills and has completed a community service project. We talked about the Phantom Bucks and the uh, Fort Corning Camp. Very good from the people in it. And this uh, resolution is signed by Speaker of the House Paul Teason, a majority leader Eric Murphy, and by myself, the member of the Minnesota House of Representatives. So, Alex, congratulations. We're very proud of you. Keep up the great work. Thank you. that 
they had not kept, uh, uh, made the, the dies that the badge would, that the eagle emblem would, would uh, uh, be a part of for the award. So the, you know, just the early days is scouting started in 1910, and uh, this is basically two years into uh, the organization. And uh, so at that point, they had made the dies to cast the medal for uh, the first Eagle Bat. But Elder did receive that uh, on Labor Day of 1912. So uh, a little bit of early history about uh, the first Eagle Scout. And interestingly enough, the uh, Eagle Scout rank, uh, it, it was not part of the original uh, advancement program. There was a scouting for boys, which Robert Baden Paul, the owner of the Boy Scouts, uh, over in England. In the 1908 handbook, they had just three classes of scouts. They were tenderfoot, second class, and first class. And there was a wolf badge, which was a reward for special distinction over and above the Eagle Badge. So uh, the people that were proofing the original Boy Scouts of America handbook uh, determined that uh, the Eagle should be the representation uh, for Scouts Award. And in 1911, the handbook uh, that came out uh, introduced the Eagle Scout Award uh, and also the Life of the Star rank as well. So just a little bit of history there on uh, the Eagle Scouts and the, the badge itself. And then the requirements again, it's still 21 badges. As of January 1st, uh, cooking became a mandatory one. It was often earned by Scouts, but now became uh, required for the Eagle Scouts. Still uh, 21 uh, badges, so um, uh, but that is the you know merit badge side of it, and then of course the key part was the the Eagle Project itself. That is all about demonstrating leadership. Sometimes uh, people get confused about it and think it's about how much you can spend on the project or other aspects of it. Uh, but the key part is always that it's demonstrating leadership uh, and, and sometimes that's a hard thing to do when you're taught to uh, be a Boy Scout and to be active and be involved. So you can be involved in your project but it's more about demonstrating leadership of others and leadership of youth as well as other adults uh, in, the, in that process. So and then the process of achieving Eagle uh, once you complete your project and you can Complete your mirror badges, then your project, and then your project, and then your uh, mirror badges, however that works out for you. But of course, all of it is after you achieve the life rank itself. So, and then you go, uh, you submit your paperwork, uh, your final paperwork, your workbook for the Eagle Board to review, and then they call upon you for an interview uh, for that. Eagle Scout rank, and it has to be a unanimous decision of that Eagle Board, which consists of volunteers. So myself, as a professional scouter, cannot be on the Eagle Board, but we have volunteers that chair that and lead that and review the project initially and approve it before you can physically start any aspect of the Eagle Project itself, and then ultimately you get the approval, and then come before the Eagle Board for your final review and approval, and, uh, and then you know, the awards that we'll be uh, handing out today. And uh, currently, it's right around 4% of uh, scouts that earn the Eagle rank. It used to be 1%, but that was back uh, when our numbers were a little bit higher, and so as the numbers have declined a little bit, unfortunately, then the percentage has, has uh, increased, more reflective of uh, declining uh, membership membership in the Boy Scouts. But it is, to get to Eagle, it's really a marathon. There's other programs that are out there for youth, and then they become more of a, a sprint, I would refer to it as. It's just a, 
here and there to try to go, and, and, but it takes quite a commitment, and I, I really want to congratulate Alex on that commitment uh, today to achieve that, that eagle rank. I know he, uh, as far as I know, discussed that for quite some time to achieve that. So, uh, otherwise, I'll turn that back to Steve. So I don't know how I did that time. Um, 
much difference between the two that I could see. The majority of what I practice now in my business is part of what I like now in voice notes. Um, but I think the biggest reason that it all works is uh, the foundation, the fundamental belief in God that the voice notes has. Um, that overall understanding and um, guidance um, is, is a big part of what I enjoy about the, the voice notes. And fundamentally, it's always correct when you have a, a kind of a, a biblical supreme being uh, in charge of the organization. So, um, I want to speak a little bit. I wasn't asked to do this, but I want to speak a little bit about Alex. Um, last year, I was uh, fortunate enough to be able to go up to the summer camp for a couple of days. And um, it was a real truth for uh, me to see Alex being such a great leader and, uh, and just being an example, a prime example of what a people's scout should be. So you bring a lot of joy to us and our family, and uh, we appreciate that. And I want to just close by saying thank you. Um, thank you to the, the scouting organization itself, but more importantly, uh, thank you to Steve, who has put many, many hours into dealing with people like myself when I was an adolescent, which I'm sure I sometimes was trying. <laughs> <laughs> the last of you wrestling that just follow me saying. <laughs> interact with 
even though I'm not anymore. I was talking with Jim about this a little earlier, that uh, when I look over the guys that are in the troop right now, there's only two left from when I was scouting up, and that's Alex and Daniel. So if Daniel gets his eagle, he will be the last scout. Well, basically, my last eagle scout, because he'll be the last scout from when I was a scout. And then, instead of helping the others, he decided he was going to try to get the second one too. 
in addition to all those things, we can also say that LX is a case of separate. So, without further ado, maybe we should take a look at these pictures and see just how Alex has come along during his not only three years of Boy Scout, but his 16 years of life. You know, when I was making that slideshow, Alex brought a bunch of pictures over from fans and events and so forth. I had pictures of scouting events and stuff. I didn't have enough pictures. Because usually I do an eight piece to a picture where Alex shows a couple songs that we do four piece and just rapid fire. Good thing there's a thing like Facebook out there that I can pull some pictures from. <laughs> now it's probably going to set the return of those two. Okay. It is now time for the voice of the eagle. We're going to start getting a little more serious here. To help me with this are four eagle scouts of Melrose, who I'd like to call forward at this time. Our first is Tom Schwinghammer. Second would be Mike Schwears. Third is Chris Hunky. And fourth is Dakota Mossman. And basically what we have here is this is the voice of the eagle. The eagle whose heights you struggle hard to reach. We remember well, Alex, when you first came to the base of the cliff, and how you looked up with ambition and determination. Look back for a moment. Look back over those cliffs you have climbed. Look back at the experience that you have accomplished in your ascent. These experiences should not be forgotten, and you should profit by making sure that the adverse ones do not occur again. Experience is a valuable teacher. It can be its warnings. We remember when you took your first steps upon the trail that leads upward. With your first step, you began to start living the scout both along. All the while you were on the trail, we watched you study, and then we watched you learn by doing. First, you were only a candidate, building yourself physically, mentally, and morally. Then your brother scout, scouts called you a tenderfoot, and they were right. You were indeed a tenderfoot. But not for long, for soon you reach the first ledge, and there you are greeted by a group of second class scouts. Some, like yourself, were stopping to catch their breaths before they <coughs> came on the trail. You began to study them, you worked harder, and almost before you came, you came to another ledge, a ledge for the first class scouts to well. There, you found a tempting green meadow by a crystal clear stream and bathed by the sun. Here you attempted to remain. Yes, you could have remained there to live in first class glory, but your ambition turned you on. We next remember your progress when you became a star scout. You found the trail from first class had been an optical illusion. It was not as difficult as it had seemed. You spurred you on, and again you climbed the ladder. Now the trail was steeper. It was less warm. Fewer scouts seemed to be heading in your direction. You looked back and saw the crowds below you. You looked up and saw the few above you. And with the same determination with which you started your climb, you continued on your trail. Soon it was the badge of life scout, the heart badge that was placed on your uniform. You will never forget the thoughts in your heart. It had been experienced by most scouts on reaching the life of your life. Now I am close to evil. I will carry on. The trail became tougher. More interesting. The original simple principles that scout all of them up now have fuller meaning. You under your understanding of them is great. Alex, we have watched your character unfold and become man. We have watched your leadership expand 
a valuable asset. We have watched the mind develop and your wisdom increase. We have watched all of these things in you. And now that you are at the threshold of your goal, we welcome you, for you have done your final in a true scout-like fashion. I would like to call Bob Reader forward for the Eagle Charge.
he's a bad in a word ceremony. So I'd like uh, Jim as, as Alex's dad and the scoutmaster of Troop 68 to come forward.
whenever I needed help, we were there to
Thank you all for coming.